Wow. So you're saying that uh, one of the options that a homeowner has is uh, if they want to keep their, their current property, let's say they're, uh, you know, let's say they're living in a, you know, maybe a smaller starter home and their family has outgrown that home and they're looking to build a, ho- a little bigger house, uh, you know, with us. But, you know, gosh, they're in, uh, you know, that house is in uh, a great area. They could potentially keep that house and rent it out and uh, still qualify for a new mortgage through you. Yes, correct. And then they could end up ultimately selling it right before they get to close it. If they wanted to, I guess, they'd have that option. They have the option. That's the nicest part is that we create that option for them to say either, hey, you know what, we think that holding it for rental is better than than selling it and we don't need the proceeds for the new home or whatever the case may be, great. I mean, sometimes a lot of um, what I'm seeing is that people will need the proceeds from the current home more so than the offset of the payment. And then, wow. it, then we start looking at doing home equity on the current home or whatever we can to access that equity uh, to build a new. 